Hey everyone, John Karish here, Cobba Cycles, Flex Fit by John Karish. Uh, quick bike fit tip here. These are some of my favorite road bars, and I call them road bars. They're really road, cyclocross, gravel, pretty much everything. It's Salsa's cowbell model. You can get them in alloy like I've got, or if you want fancy, you can get the carbon ones. Uh, they, I like these for a lot of reasons. I'll go over them quickly here. They've got uh, multiple widths. You can get these up like super wide. I'm talking like 48, 50 centimeter bars. And some of the things I like here is they've got a kind of, it's almost like an updated compact bend here. And what I mean there is you got kind of a consistent bend instead of like one, if you look at my video I did back on anatomic bars, this drop section goes like this steep ramp and then straight back. So it pulls you down into this sort of position anytime you're in the drops. So with these, you got a little bit more compact bend. These are also short reach, okay? Meaning from this dimension here, the distance from center line of the stem out to where the hoods mount. Short reach, these are right around 70 millimeters. That's pretty short. Uh, even FSA's compact stuff is more like 80. And there's a lot of bars out there that are up to 90 or 100 millimeters, even further out. The problem there is once your hand is stuck down in the drops with those deeper bars, you're losing some wrist clearance here, okay? So with these, the drop section extends back pretty far, even though it's a short reach bar, giving you the option for sprinting from here, if you're out of the saddle, and also you can climb out of the saddle pretty well with these without banging your wrists on there. And these also give a good, uh, good option between positioning on the hoods and down in the drops without an extreme change in like the angle of my torso if you look here. So you get your just cruising position, and of course bar tops too. And then the, so from hoods to drops, you're not changing a ton there and I can still get to the levers, especially if you're like in a descending position like that. They're pretty easy to get to. And also the bend right here has got a really nice transition into the hood. You can see with the ramp of the bar, this piece set fairly flat, goes straight upwards. So you've got a nice useful spot here on the hoods, also in the drops. And that's actually kind of hard to find with road bars. And these also have what's called some flare to them. And what that means is if you look at the bars straight on, the drops here don't come straight down. They're at a little bit of an angle. And this just gives you a little bit wider position here when you're out in the drops and it also buys you a little bit more wrist clearance and honestly for a lot of people it just feels a little bit more natural to have that slight inward bend like that but anyway those are salsa's cowbell bar probably my most commonly recommended bar i think they're awesome partly you get the stuff like the uh cow chipper and wood chipper bars that have like even more extreme outward flare you start to lose a usable hood position here. So I'm not often that big on those because if you got a bar that's built around like a predominantly riding in the drop position, you gotta have a head tube to go along with it. And a lot of these gravel road or cross bikes, they're just not built for to be predominantly ridden in the drops because you end up super low all the time. Anyway, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.